EA Games. Challenge everything. Working at Origin is a dream job. Getting to see the games behind the scenes is just... It's amazing. Uh, the first Ultima game I ever played was Ultima 4. I think the first one I played was Ultima 3. Ultima 3. Played every one of them after that. You have to you have to play the character a certain way. You have to you have to demonstrate these eight virtues in order to win the game. So it's not just about killing monsters. Uh, the land, the the cities, the 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 whole field. You know, it's hard to even explain. Ultima is an experience. It's not a single feature that makes it cool. It's it's a whole, it's, it's, it's an atmosphere, it's an environment. Ultima, we like to say there are different kinds of game designs. Ultima is a place of being. We're taking a very well respected, very well known license, the Ultima license, and we're responsible for bringing the next iteration of that license to the, to the gamers. I laugh, I say I've done every job on every platform in every genre of game. So now I can die, I guess. <laughs> There's nothing left to do except build something that's really cool and hopefully that's what we're working on right now. It's fun, you know? You're in there and you're just having fun. Uh, when people see this game, what they're gonna see is we're setting a new standard in PSWs. When you're playing the game, you're gonna be at your keyboard, pressing keys, fighting monsters, helping each other out, trading items, whatever it is. You're not gonna have to sit there and set a macro program to run overnight while you're sleeping. We like for people to be able to use their imagination in their role playing and not have to use their imagination to imagine themselves in a pretty world. <laughs> We're trying to do pretty much every different type of environment you can you can think of that you would actually have in the world. Um, I have not seen any game out yet or screenshots that do a forest as good as we do. And so you want to do things so that so the mouse button and your arm almost become an extension of your character's sword. Well, I've got a metal sword in my office and we swing it around. <laughs> We don't have bears, we don't have wolves, we don't have lions in the game to fight. There's just absolutely nothing heroic about that. I mean, when you watch Conan the Barbarian, you don't have to sit through 15 minutes of him killing bunny rabbits to try and get better at his sword. It, it comes to you. It comes to the player and says, here, here's, here's the next fun thing you can do. Let's go and do it. The virtues in UXO are a very integral part of the game. They show up in everything from your character's abilities to your items to the questing to actually the layout of the land. One of the things that I really uh, think I don't like about a lot, of, a lot of games today is they get in for the really photorealistic graphics. There's no style to photorealistic graphics. It's, it's not as much fun. These role-playing games are an escape. So you want to escape to fantasy, you don't want to escape to reality. And I think that's going over the top with your moves, where you have the big exaggerated sword swings. You have the huge explosions and particle effects. Normally, if you're going through a forest and you see one big great tree that, that just looks really old and gnarly, so the forest is now made of all of those kinds of trees. One of the problems you have when you're dealing with a massive multiplayer game is you have other people in the world. There's a lot of players that, that seem to feed off of being able to ruin someone else's experience. One thing private areas do is they, they stop that because you can control who goes with you. The item system in UXO is going to bring a whole other level of character development. It's just like uh, two advancement systems. The AI is going to be smarter. They're going to be casting their own spells. They're going to be calling their buddies. Rather than develop a thousand features that all just kind of work, we'd rather develop a hundred features that all work really well. So we go for the theory of less but better. And I think people are going to see that. All of the features that we're putting into this game are all really deep and all really well done. If, you, if you're looking for a game that is, is action-packed, that has really good story in the quests, that lets you role-play your character the way you want to and not just the way the quest is written, and I think this is the game that people have been looking for. The stars have lined up on this thing. Everything is AAA. It's a great big fat fastball right over the center of the plate in this ninth inning of the World Series. And uh, this is the first time I've ever had a chance to take a cut at a pitch like that.